this is not professional. The chuck is so badly worn that it, it should be replaced. And ultimately that's probably what I'll do. But given that it's already completely stuck, uh, we may as well play with it and see how good we can get it. I don't expect this to fix the run out at all, but what I hope to achieve is to grind the bell mouth shape out of the jaws so at least it will hold work securely. That's the idea anyway. surprisingly well and nothing catastrophically exploded uh, so all good I know that result is deceiving though because I, I, I've had this chuck apart before and I know that there is quite a lot of uh, wear in the scroll mechanism so I think when the chuck is used and loosens up the run out will come back one way or the other it's perhaps not consistent uh, depending on you know slot within the mechanism but at least the bell mouth shape has been ground out of the jaws, so that's good. That means it can hold work securely. And perhaps the chuck has been saved from the scrap bin for a little while longer anyway. Although there's not a lot of wear visible on this side of the scroll wheel, uh, flipping it over, you can see how mangled the teeth are from over tightening. For there to be this amount of wear on one side, logically there has to be wear on the other side as well. I'm just quickly degreasing everything to save a bit of money being carried through to the next stage. Citric acid can be used as a method uh, for rust removal. In this case, I'm just going to use it to clean up the ingrained tarnish on the outside of the jaws and the body of the chuck. I'll throw the rest in as well because it's also quite good at getting tiny particles of ground and steel and corrosion out of gear teeth and things like that as well. I left these parts in for a couple of hours. I like to use citric acid because it's cheap. Here in New Zealand it's about seven dollars a kg I think, which is roughly uh, maybe three pounds or four US dollars, something like that. The downside to using citric acid is that it leaves a layer of magnetite. Don't quote me on that. I'm not that good at chemistry, but I think it's some type of magnetite. Anyway, it scrubs off really easily so long as you remove it straight away. If you leave it to dry, it's very difficult.
I'm just using a light spray oil here, um, mainly because it was on my workbench within arm's reach. I won't give you the brand name because I don't quite think the product lives up to the mark of crap on the can. Uh, but it, it is a definite, it's not the usual suspects, it's a definite step up. Uh, best would be to use sewing machine oil or some other type of light oil like that. But as I said, this was within arm's reach. This is a good method to use if you have to replace stickers. About three coats each side and the lacquer really soaks into the paper, effectively turning it into something like, like a plastic really. I made four copies just in case I struggled to cut out a nice neat circle. Thanks for watching, see you next time.